Hey, y'all. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to do this, okay? Because I don't talk about this much, you know what I'm saying? But I do want to make, you know, like a little, you know, path, segue. Not pathway, not pathway. Segue. You know, I'm thinking about my pathfinder. It's pretty fire. I'm just saying. But, um, segue into this. All right. So, for those of y'all who do know her, Jessie Wu, the Haitian comedian on, um, who's on the new season of Love and Hip Hop Miami. Y'all know, if any of y'all know who I'm talking about, y'all know how she say, Siesta! And that's how she about to talk to her. You know, that might have been a little pitchy. I ain't gonna lie, because I just took that Zyrtec earlier, and it still ain't really doing shit. But nonetheless, <laughs> we're not gonna really discuss that. Uh -uh. Nonetheless, she does a little sea stars. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can't say I stole this when y'all see me doing it on my pre uh, future videos. But whenever we gonna talk about something masculine or whatever, specifically, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say brothers. Okay, so brothers. Let's discuss this. Hey, you guys. I hope y'all are doing good today. I know I said it was going to be a second if I did some videos, but I want to do this one on video. Now, I don't like this setup. I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the men's blanket, cool. My nana got me that. Rest in peace to her. Um, I try to keep it on her for, like, keep away, you know, bad nightmares or na nightmares and stuff. But, um, you know what I'm saying? There's lighting and then, the, well, the lightning is okay. Um, you know what I'm saying? But the, the, I feel cramped. I ain't going to lie. But my dad is downstairs. I don't know if he's leaving. I don't want him to bust up in the video. Then I got to pause it. So we're not going to do none of that. We're just going to be it like this. You know what I'm saying? But none of the less. None of the less. God damn. <laughs> All right. None of the less. Um, y'all yeah, don't know if y'all can hear it, but that's a motorcycle or car running in the back. So we just going to work with what we get. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because some of y'all don't act like y'all don't know what struggle is. Because I look at your edges and you, I look at your hair and earth. Let me relax. Okay. Uh, but it's true. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Moving on. <laughs> now that we got our little friendly banter out the way. Um, so today, I wasn't going to do a video on this. Because I try to stay away. I'm trying to stay away now from doing companies on, you know, like, if a black-owned company did this, I would definitely do a video on this. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get to that point. You know what I'm saying? I want to uplift my own. Because these companies, they don't need mine. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like free advertisement. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, if, like, you know what I'm saying? If it's a you scratch my back, I scratch your back deal. You know what I'm saying? Then that's one thing. Like, for instance, the Jasmine brand. Um, ran by a black woman. If I'm not mistaken, a little light-skinned lady. I'm assuming. You know what I'm saying? But, nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? They're really into black culture. They report on black, you know what I'm saying? Celebrities. All that stuff. Every once in a while, they'll like my stuff on Instagram. So, you know what I'm saying? That could potentially be a, you know, and so I follow them and I like some of their stuff back. That could potentially be a Fashion Nova, Cardi B type thing that happens should my music, you know what I'm saying, when my music, because I ain't going to say should because I know I'm good. <laughs> but when my music gets, you know, plateaued and whatever, that could be helpful for me. You know what I'm saying? So if it's something like that, I don't mind. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, these big companies, plus keep it honest, you know what I'm saying? Yes, they got a good message, but they in it for the money as a company. Like, at the end of the day, company morale, that's not a thing. <laughs> um, in terms of or morals, let's say that. Morale, eh, maybe. You know what I'm saying? If you're making enough money. But morals, company morals is not a thing. Let's keep that real. But I will give congrats what congrats is due at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're making money off of it. But that's the same as anybody selling a Black Lives Matter t-shirt or this, that, and the other. Unless 100% of your proceeds is going towards a Black Lives Matter foundation or anything pro-black, you know what I'm saying? You're making money off of it, too. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, still, you know what I'm saying? A message can be worth more than money sometimes. So we'll give props where props is due. And for those of y'all who haven't caught on, I'm talking about the Gillette commercial where they said, um, uh, what the fuck? The Gillette commercial, you know what I'm saying? And it's talking about being a better man. So if y'all haven't seen that real quick, I'm going to let y'all, you know what I'm saying? We're going to try this. I'm going to try to throw the video in here real quick, all right? And we're going to see how that do, okay? Because they might try to block me, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to leave video pad up and let the music video, uh, like the beauty video after upload sit there for a little while. Because they might try to block the kid because, you know, people be hating on the kid. You know what I'm saying? Um, but nonetheless, um, let me go ahead and see if it'll let me put it up in here. I'll let y'all see the ad for yourself. Um, if it blocks it, I'll just re-upload it and then give y'all a link down below. But nonetheless, here we go. Here's the, um, ad commercial. All right, we're back. I just went to go re-watch the ad. 
So, y'all, I've been told y'all one thing that white people is good at. They're good at making a Hallmark moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, okay, this is cool. You know what I'm saying? But then when he said um, the boys of today are the men of tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever they say, I just, I said it. Like, I already knew what they was going to say, of course. You know what I'm saying? It was pretty easy to guess. But it just, y'all know y'all know, kids tuck up my heart strings. Y'all know what I'm saying? I barely got a heart. It's barely there. But kids, still do it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but nonetheless, um... With that being said, so as I said, it's a nice put to get put well together commercial, you know what I'm saying? Um, I went on a couple, well, I ain't gonna lie, I went on one, because I went on the one that I watched. You know what I'm saying? I didn't care to go on, you know, multiple ones, because I can assume it's gonna be the same thing. Like, literally, the ad has 450, or uh, 35 likes, and 1K something dislikes. You know what I'm saying? And then somebody even said in the comment section, y'all uploaded it, re-uploaded it, because of all the negative com negative press, negative comments, and negative, um, negative likes, or whatever. Or dislikes. So, here we go. First of all, you know what I'm saying? I did a video earlier about, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, and I realized this video is not racially pointed towards anybody. It concluded, included men of all races, genders. Or, well, not genders, but <laughs> races, you know what I'm saying? Ethnic backgrounds, whatever. You know, well, I mean, mostly white and black. But it was, it was a couple of, you know, others and somewhat's in there. But nonetheless... Um, in this video, I'm talking more so pointed, um, or in the video that I'm addressing, it's on my Instagram, underscore Tyson's Music, underscore. Um, it's on my, um, uh, link in the bio. But it's on my Instagram, and I was talking about the Stephen Bell, or the David Stephen Bell, I think, situation, where the white man knocked the black girl out. And you have black folks talking about, you know, black folks love the way to throw, love to throw this around this grown folk business. And this, that, and the third. And I just asked the question, what the fuck is grown folk business? Like, it's one thing if your child is really overstepping boundaries. But it's another thing if you just, like, grown folk. I turned 21 now. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm a young adult. But most of the grown folk business that I've seen, y'all still gossip, y'all still talk shit, you still got childish mindsets, you know what I'm saying? And that really is showing through the male reception, or the reception of males through this, uh, of this ad, you know what I'm saying? What they think, how they're perceived, the perception, there we go, the perception, you know what I'm saying, that males are taking on this ad, you know what I'm saying? You go through Twitter, you go through this... And then you see the, some of the most childish shit. So all men are sexual abusers? Bitch, have you ever heard of, since we want to be so, um, and like I said, the reason why I bought that, <clears throat> the racial part up is because I'm not saying, this isn't just to black men, this is to all men. In fact, I ain't even going to lie, most of the men that are, you know, bashing this ad are white men, I'm not even going to lie, at least from what I've seen. Now, I ain't saying there ain't no black men bashing. I'm sure there are, especially since, you know, colorism has, you know what I'm saying, constructed dark-skinned men to, you know what I'm saying, be sexual, you know what I'm saying, masculine, the, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, type of aesthetic, you know what I'm saying. And I'm pretty sure there's some light skins under there, so I'm not just throwing all the blame on them. But I'm saying I'm pretty there's sure there's some pretty boy light skins under there, too, you know what I'm saying. We all got our stereotypes. But nonetheless, I ain't gonna lie, that's who I seen mostly under the comments bashing it. Um, was white men. Now, with that being said, is that grown folks' business? Is that grown? Is that what grown folks do? They throw tantrums and shit where they see something. First of all, if you're so grown, you would know the saying, if it don't apply, let it fly. I wasn't offended watching that commercial because I myself know and am confident that in the moves that I make, I had told my neighbor the other day, one thing I can do you know what I'm saying? I got, the, yeah, I got this braid and hair in my hair. I got weave in my head. I don't give a fuck. Guess what? A lot of these niggas walk around with these dreads and stuff. It's amazing how real a man weave can look. So, trust me, a lot of these niggas walk around now, they got man weaves too. I got hair under this though. It's added in hair to help it grow. That's the point. You know what I'm saying? If y'all seen it on the video today, it's looking a little rough. I just got it done. It's only been like a week or some change, but I've been exercising. So, I didn't know... You know, I knew your hair grew faster when you exercised. I just didn't know how fast. So, yeah, it's looking rough. But I only had it done for like, hell, what's the day? Wednesday? It's only been done for eight days. That's how fast. That's just how fast my hair grows. So, I'm going to have to get it redone soon. And I'm probably going to add some braided hair in there. Like, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here and listen to society's construct. You know what I'm saying? It's bad enough we bash women for adding in hair and this, that, and the other. Stop trying to police people. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need to get to as a society. You know what I'm saying? But, nonetheless, going back from that. Um, I got weave in my hair, you know, I, I, um, 
If anybody in my inner circle, they know, I've showed them pictures of my family. I look exactly like my mom. I got everything from her. Her mannerisms, the eye roll, the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the, not the smirk, but the, mm, that, that's her favorite fucking face to make. I got the, all that shit from her. You know what I'm saying? I got her voice. I got her this. I got her that. I got her butt. Well, I don't, actually, I don't know if I got her butt, because, I don't know. I don't know. It is it's big, but it ain't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where my ears came from. But nonetheless, so, I may not be your ideal average male. You know what I'm saying? Who gives a shit? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I and this is something that, you know what I'm saying, it kind of pulled with me, you know what I'm saying, a little bit. It, it affected me in watching because, you know, you have these, the society, it has these ideas of what's masculine just as much as it does what's feminine. Men just aren't open to talking about it. There's men who would just be hush-hush. You know what I'm saying? All the, you know, oh, you ain't got no girlfriend yet? Oh, you ain't macking on there yet? All this, that, and the other. I've never been that type of male. As you can tell by my demeanor, I don't even hang, you probably can assume, I don't even hang out with men that's like that. Like, that's corny and tacky to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, if something going on and you my best friend with it, I tell you, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I had some time where, like, I couldn't get it up or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You my, we are real good friends. Like, I would consider you a brother to me. Then, yes, I'll tell you that. You know what I'm saying? But just, oh, bro, I met that bitch the other day. I met that hoe the other day. The same way y'all looking at me and laughing right now as I'm doing it. That's how you look. That's how you look. You look stupid. You look stupid. And that's more so in our community. I ain't even gonna lie. I will own that one. You know what I'm saying? But, um... You know what I'm saying? You have all these ideas of what masculinity is. And it is toxic at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? No. So, with that being said, no, the commercial is not saying every man is a me too. Every man does this shit. No, everybody's not saying that. But, and I also like the fact that they included Terry Crews in that because I can identify with his situation so much. When I told people I was sexually abused, I got told I was a liar. I don't think people understand how that fucking feels. You know what I'm saying? I don't think people understand... And, you know what I'm saying, I'm glad it happened when I was younger, because had it happened today, I I got some light skin fury in me. I would probably stab you in your eyeball. I, 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 or some, whatever. Like, I, I just, I, I, I was so sweet and innocent back then, so I didn't really know how to, I didn't really know how to compartmentalize the situation. You know what I'm saying? So, it just kind of, you know, and it's like, what what do you say to that? You know what I'm saying? Granted, people, I understand kids will be kids. And that's another part of, I like, the fact that this commercial brought that up. Because, yeah, some of y'all might not be sexual abusers, but you might be raising some badass men. You are badass boys. You might be doing that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? It's important to look at it from all aspects. You know what I'm saying? You may be teaching your boy that it's okay to be a ladies' man. You know, i seen these little... They got baby shirts that say ladies' man on it. That shit is not cute. I'm not putting that shit on my kid and that I have in the future if I choose to have children. I'm not putting that shit on my kid, the fuck? Or a player, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Everything, you know, plays into, you know what I'm saying, how you get to where you are at as a person later on. So, and I ain't saying, now, I do believe some kids just born evil. I ain't even gonna lie. I've met a couple. I believe they're just born fucking evil. Ooh, excuse me. Psychotic, sociopathic, and everything in between. But, with that being said, you know what I'm saying? Some things do fall back on the parents. Some things don't. You know what I'm saying? I do like the fact that, you know, um... The um, bullying, they brought up the bullying and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I would basically necessarily put my kid down to run to help a kid. I might, I, I would have to be with somebody and tell them to watch my kid. You know what I'm saying? Then maybe I do, I don't know. I don't know about that part. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? It's about, you know, creating a healthy image of men and helping men. You know what I'm saying? Really take a look in the mirror and look at yourself and look at how you do as a man and how you operate and how you act as a man throughout the world, you know what I'm saying? Are you that player? You know what I'm saying? Or do you treat women with respect? You know what I'm saying? Do you, you know what I'm saying, worry about... And this is another thing I want to talk about. Since we talk about masculinity. Um, you know what I'm saying? With the whole bullying aspect of it. When you pick on people, I've really learned this. It's really actually true. I used to thought it was false. I just thought some key people was evil. Still think that to some extent. But a lot of times when people pick on you, even if it's your family members, I have really found this out. They are picking on the insecurities that they see in themselves. A lot of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell y'all how many people. I just told y'all earlier. I sound like my mom, this, that, and the other. So, of course, people, 
are going to, and I've talked about this on videos and on Instagram, of course people are going to associate the femininist of me or the feminism or the feminine aspects of me to gay because that's automatically what society does. You know what I'm saying? They're automatically going to do that. You know what I'm saying? I've said time and time again on here, I've never dated a man. That's, that's just not my thing. You know what I'm saying? Power to you if you do. I don't care. I don't care who sleeps with who. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing. A lot of these men nowadays, they pillow talk. Like, bitches. I don't understand that. Like, that is pillow talk. Oh, they, oh I make that whole da 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 That's what bitches do. You know what I'm saying? Women. Sorry. I, see? Right there. I'm checking myself every once and more. You know, I'm going to need to stop calling women bitches. You know what I'm saying? And say women. Of course, in co regular conversation, I don't do that. But if a child watching my video sees me say that, you know what I'm saying? They're going to think that's okay to associate women with bitches. And that's not okay. You see, I just had to check myself right then and there in this video, within the video that I'm talking about men checking their attitudes and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, but with that being said, of course, society is going to always so associate that with that. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I, I don't know. It is very, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's very, it's just, it's just, it's, it's a. It's a quirky situation to talk about. But with that being said, it just, it, things need to be discussed. Things need to get better. You know what I'm saying? And, and I know, you know, like, just like I said, a lot of people like to associate that with that. You know what I'm saying? But I be looking at some of y'all nowadays. I be like, bruh, do you have a pussy? Like, I don't understand. Do you have a pussy? You got cooch? You got cooch? You got cooch? Like, I don't, under <laughs> let me relax. I have an eight, y'all. I'm sorry. I had a protein shake. Uh, uh, well, vegan protein shake and, um, with mixed in with some, you know, superfood. And um, then I, you know, I lost seven pounds. Ah. <laughs> um, so then I went to um, uh, last week, this little week that just happened. So I went to go work out. I was like, well, bitch, let me work out again. Now I'm feeling the pain of that. And I should have just sat my ass down and went on ahead with this video and everything else I'm about to do today. Working on this new mixtape idea that I got. But with that being said, and that's another thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, don't, you know, women, we go through just as much stuff as y'all do. It's just some of us don't say nothing about it. You know, we're taught as men, especially in the black community to, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to move without knocking this down because this, this camera is holding on to this cooler and these boxes by a thread. <laughs> but, um, nonetheless, you know, we're taught, you know, uh, we're just as, we got just as many insecurities as women do. We're really not that much different. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I've talked about this before with the line of, uh, of the difference in anatomy being just the difference between tools that you have downstairs. Cause a lot of y'all act like bitches and a lot of women act like niggas. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, neither here nor there. Y'all like it. I love it. Um, nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? We're really not that different. You know what I'm saying? I feel a lot of pressure. You know what I'm saying? I've, you know, I've been on camera with y'all before. It's obvious that I'm not a size two. You know, or I, I just say that because that's what women say. But aside, you know, it's obvious I can't wear no, you know, just anything. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, you know what I'm saying? I've thickened up over the years, you know, because I used to be bony skinny. Like, people used to think that my parents didn't used to feed me. Like, if white people was calling the police on um, people nowadays, like they was back then, or back then, like they is nowadays, they probably would call D-Bags on my parents a couple times. That's how skinny I was. I was anorexic as hell. There was this girl on the bus. I used to sit on her lap. She used to say I had a bony butt. Now, fast forward, you know, after seventh grade, and I've talked about this in my raps before, in my music, after seventh grade, that shit just boom. I don't know where it came from. I don't know. But nonetheless, um, you know what I'm saying? That's something I've dealt with. I've struggled with image issues, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't look like, you know what I'm saying? Even before I started thickening up, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I went from bony to, okay, I had a little bitty stomach or whatever. But, you know what I'm saying? I look, you know, as time went by, I would look down at my thighs, you know? And then for a while, I would look at my butt. I would be like, you know, why do I have this? Not other, it's not other men. I'd even look at black men, you know what I'm saying? And not look at them like, ooh, I'm looking, but, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, you we're we not even gonna get into that bitch if you watch straight porn you see both people you see body parts you see everything we're grown but with that being said i would look at them as if like why do i look like this and why do they look like that and it takes time to accept that you know what i'm saying and i i feel like me even coming on here earthing that you know whether 10 people watch this video or 10,000 people you know whatever happens if my youtube channel has you know that growth i would like that but I feel like it would be helpful for men to see that, to be able to be open and maybe even come out and tell their stories of how they were insecure. You know what I'm saying? But weight is something I definitely, you know, struggled with a lot. You know what I'm saying? Growing up. 
And, you know, I, now, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to do better. You know what I'm saying? These last few days, last two weeks, I've been, you know what I'm saying, just pretty much water. I've been having juice here and there because I can't lie. I've told y'all before on video, I'm pretty sure, um, on this channel, I've told y'all, I can't drink water. But if I haven't, let me tell y'all, I can't drink water while I'm eating food because I feel like I'm drinking watered down version of that food. I, I need to cleanse my mouth, my taste buds, you know what I'm saying? And granted, there's some foods you eat, especially if they got like garlic in it or whatever, that it, it ain't gonna cleanse nothing if you have apple juice with the food or after you drink, after you know, after you eat the food. But I still need to have that feeling. That's just something I've had since a child, you know what I'm saying? Um, some things you grow out of, some things you don't. I used to be one of those kids, the only thing on my plates that could touch is uh, breakfast. That's it. You know, the grits could touch the eggs. You know what I'm saying? The sausage can touch that. But I used to hate when my food touched. Now I've grown out of that. I used to hate onions. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, like I wouldn't eat spaghetti. You know, some spaghetti sauces have uh, that you buy from the store, they have onions in them. I would not eat spaghetti or tomatoes. I would not eat spaghetti on nights. I would not eat dinner. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit. You know what I'm saying? And then I slowly started eating onion rings. Now I have a tolerance for onions. Now I like them. I will go grab, you know, the freezer bags of onions. I will cook those and throw it in whatever I'm making. Now I like them. You know what I'm saying? So as you, you know, you get older, things change. You know what I'm saying? But I had a hard time accepting, you know what I'm saying, my body. And now I'm trying to take care, care and control of it because now I'm 21. I'm getting to the point where it's going to be harder to lose weight. And granted, for men, they don't stop growing until 25. And then it's easier for men to lose weight than women. But, you know, every body type is still different. You know, we have these generic, you know what I'm saying, statistics in this area. But still, every body type is different at the end of the day. Or general statistics, should I say. Ooh, me, sorry. But, you know what I'm saying, um... Yeah, I just, for me, you know what I'm saying, um, I didn't mean to ramble on there, y'all, but, um, for me, I don't think, I did the, I think the ad commercial, it, in the end, it does a lot more help than hurt. In fact, I don't even think it does any hurt, because like I said, if it don't apply, let it fly. That's how I, you know what I'm saying, try to perceive things, you know what I'm saying? So, it's one thing if somebody say, oh, well, people in black shirts be looking... Like, if you're specific, then we know when shots are being thrown. But this commercial is simply addressing the toxic, toxic masculinity that goes on in our community. You know what I'm saying? Um, in our society as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Black, white, or indifferent. But, with that being said, I, I like the commercial. I like what they did overall. And I, I don't think, like I said, it was, at the end of the day... You take it how you want to, you know what I'm saying? If you are somebody that is so damn mad that you're going to stop buying Gillette and go to other things, granted, I don't use Gillette. I can only use, like, um, shaving is not for black people. So if you're black and you're watching, let me let you know that now. You you don't shave. You use trimmer or clippers. That's what you use. You know what I'm saying? I know I ain't did this shit. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know when. Um, but, yeah, we don't we do not do uh, shaving. So I really don't give a shit, you know what I'm saying, about how they... uh how these white folks made, you know what I'm saying, to be honest, because that's really who they made uh, audience is, is white men, because, uh, I mean, I mean, if you're a black man and you can shave, that's good, I'm glad for you, but I can't, I can't, I need to use clippers, so I don't even use their stuff, uh, as far as they deodorant, I, t I only know them to have the wet, sticky deodorant, if they do have deodorant, I think, I might be confusing them with another brand, but, um, I can only use one, the, this one type of deodorant. I, my armpits are picky. They're about as picky as me eating as a child. So, I, I can only use certain shit. So, I don't use this stuff. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Somebody pointed at pointed out them going at their, you know, consumer base. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. That wasn't smart. They're, they're consumers. You know what I'm saying? Is their target base for who buys this shit? Well, if that's the case, then some of y'all just gonna be stank. Like, I mean, I don't understand. You already stank. Shit. If you mad, you know what I'm saying? Like, I seen the commercial. It didn't affect me. It didn't make me feel no type of way because at the end of the day, I know I'm not one of those men. You know what I'm saying? I know that when I grow up and have a family, I'm not gonna be raising my child to be thinking, you know, just play fighting is cool. You know what I'm saying? Because play fighting, I, I know for, for a fact, play fighting can turn real, real quick. You know what I'm saying? So... That's pretty much my takeaway from, you know what I'm saying, the situation and shit. I'm going to come back with kind of a part two. It's segueing into a different thing. But, you know, it, it'll all, you know, it's all having to do with toxic, toxic masculinity. All right. So with that being said, I will catch y'all on the next video, part two. Thanks for watching.